Hey love bugs, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this frozen berry spring look. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera. If you guys like a tutorial, go ahead and like this video. First, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer and apply this all over my face. We are, we are dreaming in the dark, we are not. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my LA Girl Pro Primer and apply that to my eyelids. It's very important to go ahead and prime your whole entire face because you don't want anything to stain long before. So. For my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and use my Modern Renaissance Palette. And for my highlight on my brow bone, I'm going to take some Pro. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the fluffy side of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend that brow bone color out. Next I'm going to take raw sienna as my transition color and apply that on my lid right above the crease area. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Base Eyeshadow Brush and apply Love Letter right below that transition color. I'm going to go ahead and constantly apply that to intensify the color. I didn't put too much in one time. And then for my 24K Nudes by Maybelline, I'm going to go ahead and take the eggplant shade and apply that to my crease color. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that brush again and just blend that color. Next, I'm going to take Tempera and apply that to my lid. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that same brush and just blend those two colors together. Next, I'm going to take Cypress Umber from the ABH palette and apply that to my outer V area. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my Deluxe Blending Brush from Real Techniques and blend that color out. Next, I'm going to take my Micellar Water and I'm going to clean up under my eyes because, woo, I made a mess. Next, I'm going to take Vermeer and I'm going to apply that to my tear ducts as a highlight. Open up my eyes a bit. Now for color correcting, I really do not like this color corrector, so I did not mention it. And then I'm trying to cancel out those bags, so two kids is killing me. For my foundation, I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over my face. blend it out with a blender. Now I found this blender at Forever 21 and it actually works great. When you wet it, it's actually very soft and I had one before and it wasn't as soft as this one so I like it. We are, we are dreaming in and I usually apply two coats so here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and blend it out but you stay lost. We are, we are really
my Cody Air Spun. And mine is a naturally neutral, which I really probably shouldn't have gotten that. Next, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal, and I believe this is Expresso. Finish up my eyes, do my eyeliner, my lashes, my scar, and I'll be right back. I believe this is Barbara because she's that I honestly do not remember the name. I bought us in this bag. Did I just apply that to where I got this contour color? And all these products are products I applied off camera. They'll be listed in the description box below. The plus from Fair Cutting One is the Mega Lip Plumper in New. I just applied that all over my lips. But I still felt like I needed something added, so I took this Broadway lip gloss. It's the Rose Hip Oil one, and applied that to my lips. And voila, this is the finished look. Right. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Say bye-bye. Say bye. Bye, YouTube.